the officiating crew Tom O'Neill David Hall and Jerry Pollard. Into the hands of Sean May quickly Jackie Manuel. Bernard Lundquist. The little number goes. And they will see a lot of variations. Matchup. Straight zone. There's Jackie Manuel guarded by Mike Nardi. Manuel into the hands of Sean May. Kicks it out. Felton for three. Rebound in the hands of Alan Ray for Villanova. They made them take time. And that's very important. How about this time? Alan Ray has uh, really had problems scoring in this tournament. That will be off Raymond Felton. And it'll be Villanova ball. Will Sheridan take a look at the sizes on the left side for Villanova. 6'2", six 6'1", six six and 6'3". That all caused, it's, it's like rups, runs from Kentucky. That's what it reminds you of Larry Conley and that crowd, Pat Riley. I think I could be the power forward. You could be the small forward on that lineup. Uh, but they will play hard. They can take you off the dribble. Very good with the bounce. Here's Randy Foy, one of the four guards. Boy launches one and cans it for two just inside the three-point line. And he, these kids are confident, Vern. Here's that three-quarter press. They don't want them to shoot quickly. They've got to recover. Or this is going to happen. Will Sheridan, hell ball. Possession arrow, Villanova. Just in case you uh, don't know the story, Curtis Sumter, outstanding player for this Villanova team, went down with a left knee injury twice in the game last weekend against Florida torn ACL he will have surgery at a later date and what a talent to Verna it's very sad he's had a tough year with injuries and this is the isolation they are unabashed as Floyd knocks it down you got to stay up on him they freeze you with the dribble back dribble and shoot it Randy Foy five points and a five nothing lead a little small change. Could have been Nardi on the reach down. It was. Nardi with his first. Non-shooting foul to be inbounded. A 5-0 start. Randy Foy. And here's North Carolina into Rashad McCants has it now. Ooh, what a breakdown. I think they got to go inside either with the dribble. These kids are competitive. And McCants, one of the truly great talents. Lowry picks up that one, I believe, on the drive. I think they can go to May with regularity. I get that feeling he could power up, cause Sheridan some problems with fouls. Sean May, fresh from a monster game. He and Marvin Williams both with double doubles in the win over Iowa State down in Charlotte last week, the second round win. Here's Felton. Nice. Underneath there's May. And that's May gave the ball up, got a screen, and got himself right to the rim. Terrific play. On the floor, here's Mike Nardi from Linden, New Jersey, outside the Philadelphia area. Nardi, the sophomore, along with Foy, Ray, Kyle Lowry, a freshman, getting his third start of the season. Nice trap. Here's Nardi. How about and that recovery? Block from Manuel. How about that recovery? You think you got a layup? That may now down screens here and just stays as they trail the dribble. Great drag with the bounce. The big fella sending it in early. Nardi will inbound for Villanova. Wildcats playing in the NCAA tournament first time since 99. Here's Ray. He is now one for 20 in the NCAA tournament. One for 20. McCants. And the foul occurs before the shot. Now, if he's a shooter, which he is, Ray can't even think about that. Far. It's like right. missing a putt. You got to do it again. Uh, this team really sticks the jump shot. So they hopefully will get him out of this slump. They need all four of the little guys to be threats. Alan Ray missing two in this game. And he is the leading scorer for Villanova on the season with a 16.5 average. And Felton trying to establish May. They go solo. Wow. And one. Sheridan with a foul. A little power. Well, his daddy was a face-up jump shooter and a very good one at that. Uh, player of the year in 76. But this is just tough to leave a guy alone. You mentioned the way May is playing lately. He is just physically overpowering. Now Jason Fraser comes on the court. 6-10, replacing Kyle Lowry, the six-foot guard. Fraser with a wonderful game. 
last week has been reduced to a subs role because of recurrent injuries but he had 21 points and 15 rebounds in 30 minutes off the bench in the win over Florida last week and we're tied at five the, uh, the trouble with Frazier they can't practice him so it's really inhibited his growth as an offensive player they will try to establish him I think make May guard you I think that's one of the key elements when you play this club well you were right when you said Alan Ray will keep shooting hey, that's, sure. that's the name of the game I'll take you out of his stop I'm sure Jay is saying to him felt it nope May Frazier rebound Villanova the Wildcats, they're not afraid of running. Not at all, and they will take that early quick shot. And you just got to be careful if it's not a good shot. Marvin Williams getting ready to make his first appearance on the floor. The freshman from Bremerton, Washington. Here's Foy, jumper. Oh, boy. Is that agonizing? If you're a Wildcat fan, they've slowed Carolina down, though. Not able for the quick push, but this is a nice play. Oh, I thought he was going to complete it to May. Well, this one took a uh, trip around the equator. Started at Cairo, got off at Quito, Ecuador. And you've been to all those places. <laughs> Seven to five, Villanova. Nardi, Foy, Ray, Fraser, and Sheridan on the floor. See the face guarding here. McCants back to the ball. They're just trying to take Ray out of the play. Jumper, Foy. Yes. They love this, Fern. I mean, they don't want any big guys, these kids. Just give it to me. A little Nyla. Playing with confidence. Randy Foy, the junior out of Newark, New Jersey. McCants. Tough shot under duress. Sheridan rebound. And Foy's going to walk it up. Jay Wright up off the bench, chatting with his club. Well, Jay feels the TV timeout's really important for his team. Plenty of time to rest. But don't want to run ragged. Here's Foy. Oh, oh. my! Woo. That was from Newark, New Jersey, that baby. What a confident stroke he has. East side, best. Already 11 points for the junior out of Newark. Nice There's pass. the dish underneath the Williams and a foul. Will that Sheridan. That's Randy Foy, four of five. Villanova by eight. There is Curtis Sumter on the bench, the junior from Brooklyn. Left knee injury last week, midway through the first half and went over four. And they're going to rehab him physically so it's as stronger, stronger uh, than the good leg. Uh, they did that with Kyle Lowry, if I'm not mistaken, Vern. And uh, he got back quicker after the operation. Uh, than they expect it, so they're hoping the same thing works for Sumter. Yeah, Curtis Sumter, leading rebounder. And 22-7 uh, record with him. Boy, he was off to a great oh, start last week. A truly terrific talent. And yet these kids are stepping up. The one fear I have, can you make these jump shots all game long from uh -huh. deep? And here's a little switch of the D. 2-2-1. Two, two, Nardi. Nardi across the timeline in the corner. Ray and the rebound for Felton. They want to run. McCants with a leak out. They find McCants in the corner. And Villanova, once he gets back quickly, straight up. May with a soft jumper. Play. He just, everything, it's softly hits the palm. I mean, he's just a guy that catches everything, understands time and space, a little freeze with the shoulder. And Fraser, who's a terrific shot blocker, unable to get it burned. Mentioned his dad, Scott May, who was uh, the leader of that 7-16. This one's off the mark for Allen Ray. And here comes Carolina running again. Felton. Fraser. There's Williams from outside. Chases down his own long rebound. The dish a little too far to the left. Sean May. I talk like that, just softly, the one-handed stab. This is what makes him special. He's got great shoulders, so he can distance himself from the defender. Uh, just holds the guy, and then the release. Dad Scott is here somewhere among this crowd of 30,700. He can't sit and watch, so he paces. Yeah. A lot of dads like this. Nice denial by May to Frazier. I think you got to make Sean keep busy. Randy Foy. This is their ISO. They just stand still. Jumper in and out. 
That was Kyle Lowry who's back. And Fraser muscles his way up and will shoot a free throw. I'll tell you, he reached a long way with that wingspan, but a soft enough jump shot. First to penetration, the kick to Lowry. Now look at that full extension, maybe a 39 sleeve length, and knocks this baby down and gets to the free throw line. They do need second opportunities for him. You just can't chuck it, duck it, and expect this Carolina team not to score at the other end. Fraser only a 61% free throw shooter. This one saved by Randy Foy. You've got to get all of those things when you're playing a superior talented team. Nardi with Felton going for the steal. It's knocked out of bounds by Raymond Felton. I think they got a foul oh, on they that did. sideline. Yes. I think Williams may have been involved on a hold on the screen down. Not that Williams. Marvin, Marvin Williams. Marvin Williams, and that's his second. John May is out. Marvin Williams stays on. Jawad Williams comes back. They are coached, of course, by Roy Williams. How about Lowry? Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. The blow by to the chin. Does he have some smoke when he turns the corner? Kyle Lowry. Here's Felton at the other end. Rebound, Fraser. That's three rebounds for Jason Fraser. He had 15 a week ago. Kyle Lowry, number 13, the freshman out of Philadelphia, played basketball at Cardinal Doherty High School, Doherty High School, and celebrating his 19th birthday today. He's got the ball right now. This is his game, getting in the lane, either finishing or dishing. Drive, draw, and take it yourself. And now he's joined with Rashad McCants. He's got to look up to him to do it. I mean, he is in his face as they came back down. He's got to be careful, and they are getting those entry lanes here, and that's dangerous in the high-low from Williams. Blocked by Frazier, a 10-point Villanova lead. Lowry wants it back. Loses it. Here comes Carolina running. Nardi's back. McCants pull-up jumper. Not there. Foy rebound. And what a rebounder he is for him. Five a game. The little guy playing like a power forward. But right here, a little cross. Timmy Hardaway. Well, maybe per Washington. We're in Syracuse. And here, taking it right to the teeth of the defense. Separating and able with strength to convert. Wow. He's, he's a powerful <laughs> kid, isn't he? <laughs> and very comfortable. Well, they were standing on the sideline. The refs wanted everybody to sit down. Boy, Jay has his kids primed today. Don't they're just ready, aren't they? Well, he told us yesterday at the shoot around these kids don't know that they're overmatched. They really believe. And they were all talking about the fast breaking and making sure that they uh, got themselves back. They felt they had worked hard all year on it. Now, Nardi back on the floor. Randy Ford gets a rest. And the ball inbounded by North Carolina. They've yet to hit one from three-point range. They're 0 for 5. Here's David Noel. Hit May. Pump fake. Travel. Ten-point Villanova lead. Open middle. Drive. Turn the corner and create for somebody. Nardi just using some clock here. I think that's what they have to do every once in a while. Make them work. They got a five-second count. Raymond Felton making his presence felt defensively. I had said to you, Walter, do you think he's as quick as Allen Iverson was in college? I mean, it, it's in that league, Vern, if, if it isn't. That's a heck of a comparison. Wow. He's just extraordinary. And Dean Smith in his heyday, they ran. And Roy has, over the years at Kansas, even pushed the steam and the speed up considerably. Jacques Vaughn is a guy he had out there that turned the engine up. And now they got Felton, who's maybe the best in the country. They got May on the duck in, hold on Frazier. This is a tough beginning for Roy right now. You know, excuse me, May on that walk, by the way, Vern, Villanova had pulled his shirt. And then he walked. Oh, pretty good tip. Tough way to stop him. 19 to 9. Under 12 to go in the first half. Here's Lowry. Pull up jumper. Oh. He got another. Oh, this kid is just a tough out. Very competitive. Got his third start tonight. He had 15 off the bench in the win over Florida. There's May, and a blocking foul is going to be called 
on Kyle Lowry. How about six foot Kyle Lowry <laughs> getting caught in the matchup against Sean May? He's not afraid to step in on the defensive end or counter on the offensive end. Tough. 11.39 to go, first half, 21 to 9, a perfect start for Jay Wright and the Villanova Wildcats. Uh, incredible. I mean, perfect game plan. They play confidently, great preparation, going at them and then pulling it out. He told both of us the toughest kids he's ever coached. And he's been around a few. You got Hofstra, he had some very talented kids. Of course, longtime assistant for Rolando Massimino. They're all down in Florida, Rolly and his children enjoying this one. This is the May misses the second and Fraser with another rebound. This is the 20th anniversary of the Villanova championship game. 1985 they defeated Georgetown 66 64 Willie Massimino the coach there. Said he had 21 radio interviews <laughs> and he loved every one you of them. You bet. Uh, probably charged for half of them. <laughs> well, he's got the max going tonight Mary Jane I'm sure. And what a start for them. Randy Foy, four of five, pull up jumper from three. This one doesn't go. And here comes Felton, and he'll run it. In the middle, and the adjustment gets the follow. He should have run it out. Look at May go after that. Oh, oh boy. Give me that. Oh, is that toughness personified? I mean, he goes three, four, five feet for rebounds. Whistle. I think timeout for Jay. Timeout. Sean May, 10 of North Carolina's 12. They still trail by nine. Go. And how about this effort? You know, if you switched to protein and got off carbohydrates, <laughs> Vern Lundquist, you could attack the rim. How about the one-handed snag there? Just such an aggressive performer. Physically, he reminds me of Wes Hunsell. And yet he's got finesse and face-up shots. This is a loaded talent. They go zone, two, three. Foy and Nardi, the guards, along with Alan Ray. And two bigs on now, Frazier. And here's the skip pass. Jumper, not there. Melvin Scott, one of the seniors for North Carolina, has it. Felt it. Right side, Jackie Manuel. Into the corner. Jawad Williams, another of the seniors. He screens for Scott. Scott takes the three. Hey. Got it. Frazier was afraid to come out. They were in their junk defense. They scramble around. Uh, this 2-3 zone, Sheridan did a great job screening the last time. They're going to have to get some touches inside. We'll match up on the shooters. See the Carolina fans behind the Tar Heel bench. They stand now. Alan Ray off the dribble. Kick out. Nardi. It's there. I'll tell That's you what. Two. He has been making shots. I mean, confidently, they get him in that slot, little drive, get the attention of two, and kick it. Scott looks inside for May. There's the help defense coming from Alan Ray. Out of bounds, Villanova ball. Everybody can shoot the ball. They put so much pressure on you. You got to match up. Even if you're in the zone, you got to stay on them. You can't assist as much. And of course, the dribble created the havoc on the defense. Kyle Lowry back on the floor. You see Nardi's numbers had 15 in the Florida win last week. And they switch right away after that jumper by Nardi. To the man to man. Foul's going to be called on Sean May. He's got a little hook, you know. Frazier, it's sad, really. Uh, the, the wrist, the tendonitis, the foot, the hand when he came back this year. Inability to practice. He hasn't developed the smoothness necessary for the step. But Jay said they just can't do it to him. Non shooting foul. And uh, Foy will chase this one down. Jack Emanuel back with him. Well, you better be quick on the floor tonight. They have some coverage. Foy. Blocking foul, Jack Emanuel. Defensive all ACC again this year. Well, he can really guard a guy just to get quite to the baseline to turn him. Team fouls now five for North Carolina. Villanova already is committed. Here's Foy with a turnaround, and he'll go to the free throw line. Woo! This one was a little bit of a, uh, a mystery. When you, own, <laughs> when you own the court, you call this one at the end of a game. Uh, McCants looking like in disbelief. Uh, they take pride in guarding without fouling. And that's, uh, you don't want to put people on the foul line, give them easy ones.
Tonight on The Late Show, Dave welcomes Vin Diesel. And Dave recaps a day in the life of the Michael Jackson trial. Tonight on The Late Show, right here on CBS. Randy Foy shoots one more. Substitution, Alan Ray back in the floor. Floor replacing Foy. This is a quartet of juniors. Foy, Ray, Curtis Sumter, Jason Fraser. Really the cornerstone of this rebuilding effort for Jay Wright's team. Uh, sort of stepped up at the end of the year. Came in with good chemistry, good feel. Here's Felton in the lane. Rebound made. Off the glass and good. Now he made that opportunity for Felton. The ability to get in the lane is something Felton possesses, but May occupied two people, and then his recovery, incredible. 12 points for Sean May. And the lead is seven, Villanova. Ray Lowry. Ooh, what a look. How about that one? And a clean block from Jackie Manuel. And that's why he's known for his defense. Great reaction. Oh, Offense. They just can't get started right now. And you can see some of the expression. McCants just put his hands over his head. Not in disgust with his teammate, but just uh, the inability to get any smoothness out of their offense. 24-17. Villanova jumped off to a five-point lead. North Carolina tied it up. Then the Wildcats scored eight unanswered, and they've led ever since. There's the screen from Sheridan. Ray fires. Oh. Got it. And Vern, that's the 1-3-1 one zone. And that little gap there, you've got to come way out from the foul line to attack that guy. Can't give them plea looks. Second basket. Here's McCants at the other end. In and out. Kyle Lowry, the six-footer with a rebound. And Jay pulls the plug. Yes, he does. Take Slow the air. it down. Nardi comes back to put the play in motion. Now your wing guys have to play people who are great with the ball. That's too spacey. He's terrible. We got to call oh, a timeout. Yes. Wow, that's like our dinner table. <laughs> Goodness, we got too many people and not enough cash. Oh dear. <laughs> Seven nineteen to go. First half. Time called. Villanova up by ten. Also on the staff, as Bill mentioned, of Villanova. Grew up in the Philly area, a graduate of Bucknell, and said he was in tears watching that Villanova victory over Georgetown in 1985. Here comes Villanova, North Carolina running it. That's what they have to do. Get a little smooth. Look at that penetration. Oh, he didn't have to reach down. Excellent call. Frazier, bigger, can elevate. Time called. Seven minutes to go, first half. They can't hit it tonight. Sean May with five of six and 12 points, and the rest of the Carolina Tar Heels, one of 13. Now, Roy wasn't happy with the way they played the ACC. You know, didn't pass the ball well, uh, really struggled, but uh, had a couple of good days of practice. Only 19 assists in the two ACC tourney games. They averaged that a game. So that's their basketball. They've got to find their stride right now. And usually the stride is Felton creating and getting it in tight. Raymond Felton misses two free throws, 6.54 to go. And the score still 27-17. Marcus Austin has come on now. One of the seniors for Villanova, a seldom used postman. Steps, yeah, you gotta call that. And good, solid defense, Manuel. Only the third Villanova turnover of the first half. Big thing is they've tightened up defensively, Caroline. They get themselves worked back into the game. Create a tough early shot and get a run out. Good post up here. This is using a great out of a timeout, huh? Yes. I guess that's why he's won a few games, that man. <laughs> huh? Roy Williams has won more games through the first 17 years of his career than any coach in college basketball history. Okay. And now he is up and he is screaming at one of his players. I'm not sure which one. Well, I think one was playing man to man. He wants this 1 3 1 zone. Uh, they are using. The clock judiciously. Boy. Until they get an open look from 18. Another three for Randy Foy. 15 points already in the game. McCants. 
There was Marcus Austin, and that forced the pass. He went the wrong way with that. And Williams. An uptick team as they rotate players off the Carolina bench. It's very tough for you to stay in that defensive stance, and guys are taking long jump shots. You want to get it and go, but you've got to stay basic. Randy Ford backs it out. Jason Fraser on the floor, guarded by David Noel. Here's Foy. Baseline, kick out, Ray. Mike Nardi with the jumper. And McCants on the springboard. And right to the rim, Noel. Pull up, Felton. Yes. And that helped the jump shooter. Noel sprinting down the middle of the floor. And that's what they want. Bang, get it out. Get somebody at the rim. North Carolina in transition is a dangerous animal. Felton was 0 for 6 until he hit that one. And the margin of difference is 8. Will Sheridan, number 50. There's not a lot of screens. It's all the breakdown, and here's the help. Unfortunately, the scrape, uh, the foul by Noel. It's so important that your bigs run the floor because you know that Carolina's going to match him. And right at the rim is Noel. You've got to recognize help before you close out on the shooter. Just good, solid early offense by Carolina. Randy Foy at the line. Fred Hill, the assistant coach, said he charted six games of North Carolina, 75 possessions in which the shot was taken in 10 seconds or less. That's incredible, isn't it? A push, but it's really orchestrated beautifully. I mean, it's fun to watch when they're humming and on their game, but it all starts on the defensive principles. They, they feel they can take you out of anything you want. I think this is very hard for them. Three guys on a perimeter trying to beat you one-on-one. -on -one. Takes away a lot of the help principles because they can shoot on a kick. McCants fade away off the rim. Sheridan grabs the rebound. He's got five rebounds he, now. He has come along this year. He's been a solid contributor for this team. Little face-up 15-footer on occasion. Guards and obviously rebounds. McCants, great job defensively on Ray. He'll take it. Still can't find a shot. He's camped too, but he's missed. Oh, we got an injury down here. Is that Noel? It is Noel. Yeah. So he would have retired with only 878 a, wins. He's still mad at us because we didn't return the game. And that's that graphic uh, alluding to the push and the quick shot within 10 seconds. He said we wouldn't return the game to Chapel Hill. <laughs> I think he was afraid to go out with me after the game was the real problem. McCants blocked. Scott has it. Look at the space and give the guy the opening and the opportunity. And Williams, sort of one of the unsung guys, I think, Jawad, on this team. Roy Williams expressing some concern about Jawad Williams. He did not have a good ACC tournament, nor has he really played up to his form in the NCAAs. Bothered by a hip flexor and a little bit of a groin pull. Well, now Carolina's pulled within eight. Nardi. Tough oh, shot. tough shot. That's going to get you in trouble. It yes. Should, it should go to Carolina. Yeah, good call. You make those mistakes, you pay for them. North Carolina down by eight. Three and a half to go. Back in Syracuse, 32-24. Felton Williams, Marvin Williams, who has not been a factor in the first half, is joined by Jawad Williams. Sean May getting a rest right now. Marvin Williams into the lane, off the mark. And That's a nice pop by him, Verno. That's for three. And it won't go. And a Villanova rebound. And that was that 2-3 zone. It wasn't the match. They could do a lot of different looks, but I think you've got to keep them on edge if possible. There's a high low going. Sheridan gives it off to Allen Ray. Turn around. Boy, that's a tough shot. The sure is that's their last oh. couple of trips. Austin was underneath loading up for Villanova, too. And McCants was right there. Here's Williams. His nice. three not going to fall. Jawad Williams. Marvin Williams. Yes, yes, indeed. That's why they love him at Chapel Hill. That big smile and that big game. Extraordinary performer. Now Roy Williams up. Urging his team on. They have clawed their way back within five. They trail by 12. 
at 21 to 9. And again, can you make them all game? And yeah. that's, that's the tough part. Lowry, he'll penetrate. He's not going to shoot that three. But he can't penetrate because Raymond Felton was right there. And, and you know, Vernon, they've stepped up their excellent man-to-man -man defense right now. Felton's going to get him into a pushing situation. Lowry's got to be careful. They do a great job face guarding, don't they? Oh, you bet. Ten on the shot clock. Mike Darty getting ready to come back in for Villanova. Boy, bumped. Another tough shot. Three in a row. Rebound, Marvin Williams. Here comes Carolina. Felton, crossover, penetration, the dish, and offensive foul. Left his feet, did a great job, maybe a little too deep before the decision. And he is a terrific decision maker. Villanova has to do all these little things. Step up, and once you lean forward, it's going to go against you. Tough little, he got an open opportunity. Once he gets in the lane, he is just, he understands what kind of a pass to deliver. Seldom does he make that kind of mistake. David Noel is back on the floor now, so the injury that he sustained temporary. Marvin Williams will head to the bench. Sean May is still there. And Randy Foy walks it up. 27-32, 1.18 to go. Villanova has not gotten one from the field in the last four and a half minutes. They still haven't. They got a hold on the rebound. That one was going to the rim. Just not soft enough. Uh, Jay's game plan, though, has been solid, I think. And they just can't compete on the glass. I think mixing the defenses up has caused some problems. Do you think he's ever worked in the yard or gotten dirty? <laughs> <laughs> amazing. You know, just a, just a passing thought, Bill. He dresses a little better than you and me. Oh, my goodness. He, he looks he, a little better than you and me. He does have a lot more going than we do. <laughs> well, he and Hugo are very tight. Oh, goodness. <laughs> 32 27, 65 seconds to go. Uh, two young guys trying to get their teams to move on. A little hold to your small change. Felton doesn't believe it. Using those baseline rubs, Nardi able to run the baseline. That's one of those Roy doesn't like because it gives him a chance to get a couple. And this puts him in a, he'll get another opportunity to get the basketball as well. Second personal foul, Mike Nardi at the, at the uh, free throw line. Over the course of the year, hasn't been there that often. Only 31 of 39, but 80%. Crazy thing about Carolina, when they lost to Santa Clara, I happened to be in Maui. Uh -huh. They had the toughest practice I've ever seen without punishing drills. And that was, uh, the, the loss was in their first game right, of the year. On the way, Felton didn't right. play, as we know. Great win for Santa Clara and her program. But the practice got them to understand they went back to basics. And I'm told Roy did it this week again. They won 14 games after that Santa Clara loss, so it was effect an effective tool. 29 and 4 is this North Carolina team. Top seed. They've not led in this ball game. They were tied at 5. Tough match for sure, not that far. Nice. Oh, run. beautiful pass. How about the patience, Fern, huh? Under the rim. Noel with a great find. Final 30 seconds, first half. At one point, Villanova led 21 to 9. They'll play for the final shot. And they go 1 3 1. They'll be able to get a slot jumper that's a little bit above the elbow. Jawad Williams in the middle. Here's Nardi. Allen Ray penetrates. Tough shot again. Yes, Look. it was. Reverse. Won't fall. Oh, that was big. Big rebound. Got to put it away. Second-ranked team in the land trails by four. That's the end of the first half. Largest halftime deficit overcome. Three points, three times. They are 29 and four for the season. Bill mentioned that opening season loss to Santa Clara. And right now, it's the first time they've done the little wrinkle that caused the turnover. Uh, weren't ready. Even the good ones get a little flustered when you throw a change into the look. Raymond Felton's third turnover of the ball game. Well, Carolina's got to get the engine going. Rev it up. Indianapolis 500. Get the motor humming. 
And the Cats have to pick and choose. Randy Foy. Sheridan Nardi in the corner. Allen Ray, two for ten in the first half to continue his shooting slump. There's the crossover. Kick out to Nardi. Jack Emanuel in good defensive position there. How about the rebound from Kyle Lowry? Now the power forward for the Wildcats. Well, you do it with your heart. You got a ticker, you compete, and they have performed admirably. Lowry, number 13, started this game, his third start of the year. Off the bench in the win over Florida, he was really significant, 15 points. Look at him get on the elevator for this one. A Bill. trampoline act here, soaring, his timing extraordinary. Uh, while everybody stood still, who's up there by the chin? The little guy. McCants picks up his second foul. Here's Ray, jumper. Wow, that's tough to catch it like that. Look at this. And they get the timeout. They give them the timeout. Yes, indeed. Uh, the heads up play. Tough to shoot it after that catch. Kyle Lowry. The lead is still four. And Illinois. Mm. You never know, huh? Anybody knocks leagues during the course of the year. Nice catch here again. They are taking some awfully yeah. quick ill-advised shots. I, I would say that's the six months since before the half and into this half. Look at this is what they got to do. Use their power. Uh, oh, just off. That's a great play, though. You got to hang in there. Uh, Roy, a little. He's applauding on the sideline. I don't blame him. That was a wonderful sequence. He just don't close the deal. Congratulations to Bruce Weber in Illinois and Tom Izzo in Michigan State. They are in along with Bo Ryan's Wisconsin team. Wisconsin will meet the winner of this one. West Virginia is playing Louisville. That's for two. And the lead is back to six. Look at the post up inside with Williams. Looks like he has his son in front of him on the other side. Felton. Snake basket. Uh, it's amazing that they can't get the ball inside, but if that does help, should loosen it up for the big guys. 35-32. Villanova with a 12-point lead at one point. They jumped out 5-0. Oh, North Carolina has not led in this ball game. Randy Foy, 19 points. Tough shot. Manual. Great defense. And now the run out. Nice Belton, look. Manuel Lowry rejected by Will Sheridan. No, it was uh, Alan Ray. And the kick hands. Finally lights it up. He's been struggling. Not making shots. One for six. That's his second field goal. It was tied at five. It's now tied at 35. A little side pick and pop for Foy. That's a Sumter play, but they don't have Sumter. And right now, but they got Sumter. Oh, they sure have it. They got it Perkin. Randy Foy, 22 points, 5 of 10 from long range. Oh, my goodness. Clean block supplied by Jawad Williams on Kyle Lowry. Yeah, trying to free McCants up. There's Nardi with a slap. And a hell ball, possession arrow, Villanova. Well, we mentioned they do a lot of ISO, but once in a while you'll get that side pick and roll. And who is it? The little guy, the power forward, gets five rebounds a game, a little nylon from deep. Lowry drags two, delivers, and then the punch. Jason Frazier back on now for Villanova. 21 and 15 in the win last week, replacing Curtis Sumter. Frazier, the oft injured. Very talented young man. And Brian, just a quick thought. Billy Cunningham, Roly Massimino, two friends. We spoke to both of them last night. Right. Billy announced to all the Villanova guys, Matty Morehand, and of course, Roly, I'm not speaking to you till Saturday, uh, meaning he wants to see the outcome of this game. And right now, they're in a state of flex down there. These two kids, these two teams, and their kids are playing great. Here's Lowry, oh. too strong. Billy not only said he wasn't speaking to him, he also, I guess, here's the... McCants fake. Felton into the corner. Nice. Noel. Strong. May. Look at this kid go after it, though. Wow. I mean, it is a tough area of the floor. You talk about tough neighborhoods. 
no police out there. You just got to compete, stick your nose in there, and power to the 10. Billy Cunningham in 64, 65, one of the great players in North Carolina history, lives in Philadelphia. So he and Rolly have a friendship that goes back years and years. Uh, lukewarm sometimes. <laughs> I know. I, when I said that, I thought I don't want to misinterpret. How about the, right now, they're doing a great job, the Tar Heels. Billy Cunningham's Tar Heels get it inside. Sean May with 30 career double-doubles. Billy Cunningham had 40 in a row. Well, they've had some great players in both these institutions. Now here's Jason Frazier, the double and the steal from McGa uh, David Noel. Oh, what a play here. Lowry again. He, was, he is some spitfire. He was hiding behind the eye. He was so tiny they couldn't see him. Kyle Lowry off the dribble. The dish. Hello. Wow. Drawing the attention with the bounce. Uh, Jay Wright has his guys playing great basketball. Being in the right position, coming up with a steal. And why not get into the lane? The little guy that could send it in, big fella. That's good. Uh, by him being in the right spot, great anticipation. Look at the points off turnover, 18 to 2. And just when uh, North Carolina, it looks like they're getting the ball inside, doing good things, Villanova counters. Nice kick out. There's Belton. Oh, they got a push. Foul is on Sean May. Well, Roy Williams has shed the jacket. Uh, it's getting serious right now. You know that. Less than 15. Can't pull away. Not a consistent trip. North Carolina lost that season opener en route to Maui that Bill referred to to Santa Clara. Then their losses have come in the ACC at Wake Forest, at Duke. And there's another one. They lost to Georgia Tech in the ACC. And Roy Williams said they really appeared disinterested. They got the fire back in the NCAA with easy wins. Average of 27.5 in their two wins over Oakland. But boy, they have their hands full tonight. And May was the guy that said they were. Oh, oh what a tough. Ouch. He got fake toll. Let's hope he's okay. Felton over there. Nardi just faked and responded. Ooh. Nice little kick out here. Gives the open look. But look at that pump fake, what it can do. And that's just a tough play as the crowd reacts as well. Fortunately, nobody hurt on this one. But I think it was Sean May that said we were jolly lagging. Lollygagging. 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 And Roy, Roy said he never knew that word until I got the job. <laughs> That's one of his words. Here's May. Look at this. Bump and no call. And he missed it from point blank range. That's unbelievable, isn't it? That might be an omen. Wow. The Villanova has a past history, as you alluded to earlier. Here's Nardi. Crowd was ready to erupt on that one. But the offensive board, Randy Foy, and I just looked over at Raymond McCants and his body language, Bill, which is always, it seems to me, an indicator of where his mind is. Right, and he has really been a little dis disgusted at some of the plays, but also Villanova with the long rebound. The advantage for the long rebound is to the shooting team, but you get opportunities like this. Is it fatigue? It might be because they're banging heads. It's just too easy for her. That is unbelievable, and that's the way it goes. So you got to fight through it. I think that's why Roy is rotating bodies now. May sets, so also does Raymond McCants. His shoulders just absolutely slumped. Rashad McCants, beg your pardon. 42-37. And the inbound play, Alan Ray. Into Lowry. Ray jumper. Tough, tough. And that's manual right there. That's one you gotta pass on. One of the great defenders. Will Sheridan fell down. Pretty look. Go strong. Marvin Williams. Clean block, Kyle Lowry. How about the stick to of this club? They're not going to concede anything, whether it's size or not. This is one of those weekend games where you don't want to go off the court. You're going to play with all your heart. Terrific anticipation in the quick hands. 
Villanova still up by five. This is the 20th time in NCAA tournament play. There's the up and under and a rejection by Fraser. Off the glass and good. A little kiss by one of the Williams. How about the reaction by Fraser? He was faked and still stayed tall to get a piece. As I mentioned, the 20th time that Villanova, since seeding began in 79, that they have faced a higher seeded team. They've won 12 and lost only eight. Two of those uh, wins over number ones in 1985, the run to the championship. But here's Felton. We're tied again, tied at 42. Well, Sheridan got the open look. He made one earlier. They got the run out on it and a good opportunity. Roy really down, getting after his guys to reach back. Big trip. Roy Williams in a crouch and urging his team on with clenched fists. He's asking for the hook at the other end. He's got his arm wrapped around. Foul on Felton. One of the great competitors. Number three on Felton. Nardi will rest for Villanova. Randy Foy back on the floor. You know, when you're as good as Carolina has been, for quite a number of years, everybody's looking for you. They're going to come prepared. And your guys may not meet that emotional level each evening. It takes a while. You've got to be resourceful. I think the substituting has helped them. Reach in foul, Villanova. And Jay working on the other sideline. Randy Foy. Time call, tied at 42. Five turnovers in this one. North Carolina has turned it over 12 times. North Carolina has never led in the game. They've got a chance here. And Frazier feels he got all ball. He's applauded. To, that's good composure. A nice little turn. Something turns the corner. A little post feed here. And Frazier maintains his balance beautifully. Saying he got him with a little bit of a body bump. But uh, it's such presence in that low post defensively. Marvin Williams goes to the line where he is an 84% free throw shooter for the year. Two of two tonight. That is the first North Carolina lied. North Carolina by two. Well, now you've got to get good shots and use some clock as well, I think. Some inside out. They go with that 1-3-1 zone now. Marvin Williams has to run the baseline. Randy Foy, he's got 22 points. Offensive foul. And out on the top of the key was Lowry begging for the ball. All he had to do was pop it out. And Jay becoming more animated, a little slippage on some shot selection. And right now, stepping up the pressure, getting the ball closer to the 10 on each trip. Carolina. 11.22 to go. North Carolina. Going after its 30th win of the season and a return to the Elite Eight. Melvin Scott on the floor, one of the seniors. So is Jawad Williams, who has the ball here. Was their man to man, a lot of motion. And a right out by Sheridan. That's four on Fraser. Oh, I beg your pardon, it's Sheridan. And Sheridan is second. It's tough for big guys to do that. And they ride a dribbler. You really have to have quick feet. The best I can remember doing was Patrick Ewing. He really blitz a pick and roll. Speaking of Villanova Georgetown. Ooh, I didn't mean to bring it up, Rolly. <laughs> There's that slice cut, Williams. Felton, nice entry pass. Wow. There's the rejection from Fraser. Well, he changes everything. If he doesn't get it, you don't shoot as well. Jay Wright telling us that, that when he can practice, that's where he does practice. Oh, man, and there's Lowry. Tough, tough, feisty kid. Getting back to Foy's penetration. They give me would have gotten a good look the last trip. Felton splits two. So, oh, what a nice touch. Oh, how about that? The teardrop. North Carolina back on top by two. Got to keep that kid out of the lane. And he just breaks you down. Randy Foy, Lowry, Fraser, Sheridan, Allen Ray on the floor for the Wildcats. Ray, Lowry, no call. Well, 
Crispin Williams on the top side that got him. Now you're that size, you really got to have an opening and an option if you're Lowry. You get in a little bit too close, and look at all the bigs come over. Great reaction defensively, and then on the top side, the giveaway. That's going to put Jason Fraser at the line. Bill mentioned earlier just an overwhelming litany of injuries. He's had three knee surgeries, two stress fractures, and on January the 11th, the night they won an overtime game against Providence, Jason Fraser said his hand hurt as they were on the plane. Mm -hmm. It turned out to be a broken bone in his hand, a screw inserted in his thumb. That was the same night of the plane ride that uh, was 12 minutes of terror for this Villanova team. Had an emergency landing, 36 people on board, and uh, a memory for each of those 36 that will last a lifetime. And all the kids we, we have spoken to in the last couple of weeks saying what an impact it's had and how they're relishing their youth. And right now, uh, the advantage going inside with May, he's able to finish. Three point North Carolina lead, 9.35 to go. And for just to finish on Frazier, Jay said the, the poise of this gentleman, he never complained about any of the injuries, always a happy face. Nice glow about him. Randy Foy, Kyle Lowry. Nardi's back on the floor. Gets it back outside. Five on the shot clock. Randy Foy launches one. He thought that was good. Good Yes, muscle. he did. In the corner, May tracks it down. North Carolina, no numbers. Good job of getting back by Villanova. Now they've done that all evening long. That's the key, right? Uh, absolutely. You got to minimize their quickness, the way they push the ball. McCants. Nardi with a foul. Tough shot. Third Good. foul on Nardi. What they're doing is using the dribble like Villanova's been doing, and, and McCants can complement Felton. Those two then can break him down. It moves the big people they got to step up it opens it cleans the backboard it's an opportunity for a tip that will put Rashad McCants at the line 72 percent free throw shooter One more. Alan Ray back on for Villanova and Jason Fraser will get a rest you, know, you mentioned McCants earlier I think he's really grown up right I think Roy and he have really arrived at a, a point in, in his life where he understands what it takes to be part of a, a well-oiled team. Temperament's been good. And right now they're back in the 1-3-1. Largest lead of the ball game. This is one where I think Villanova can get a clean look if they're patient. Because you got to run baseline up if you're the wing guy. There's McCants. Jump stop. And they got the pull. Now they give it to Felton. On the reach in. The rake. Rashad McCants is trying to raise his arm, yeah. saying, give it to me. Well, he knows how important Felton is. It's on Felton, and that's number four. And that's why McCants had the hand up. And right away, now they go to Thomas. Youngster that got that start out in Santa Clara. Quentin Thomas, the freshman out of Oakland. That would be Quentin Isaiah Thomas. Mm -hmm. And I wonder why. <laughs> Every guard. Let's see. They got. And Raymond Felton on the North Carolina bench. Having picked up his fourth foul. Felton with four. Williams and May, three apiece. That's a perfect trap. And they get the jump ball. Wow, is May active? That's the juice in this team, I think. This guy getting his body in shape last summer, coming back, his impact, his running ability, his aggressive play, his demeanor, doing everything he can to help his team win. Possession arrow for North Carolina. Clinton Thomas inbounds. Nardi harassing him in the backcourt. Now uh, here's Thomas. Oh, no, Offense. don't go that far. No. They yes. Get, yeah, yeah, it was. You can't. You win the game, you got to have balance. You got to be ready to jump stop. And Roy lamenting that particular trip. 
And that's going to be a quick time on the floor for Quentin Thomas. Melvin Scott, the senior, replaces him. Well, this, this is one of those times you, you got to learn, but not at the expense of potentially winning. So a tough situation. And normally, Roy would let him play through that, but they got to get control of this game. Now, let's check the five on the floor with 8 11 to go. Randy Foy, Kyle Lowry, Mike Norty, Alan Ray, and Jason Fraser for Villanova. This may not be a bad time to get Frazier involved on the offensive end, Vern. Give him some touches. See if May will let him go with the three fouls. North Carolina bench has outscored Villanova 14-3. And there is the presence of Sean May. Randy Foy gets it outside to Nardi. Quick hands of Jackie Manuel. Nardi gets it back with this. Foy. Oh, what a beautiful shot. A baby hook. The only thing a guard possesses that can defuse the big guy. Terrific release. A little smooch. There's the dish to May at the other end. Look at May get a hand on it. Lowry fights for it and gets there. 7.28 to go. Don't be in a hurry. And he gets the hit. How about this guy? Do it all. Let him get into the band. Play his own music. How do you stop a kid that wants to be aggressive, Fern? Put it on the deck. We see him cross it over. Take on all comers. I'm only a rookie. Kyle Lowry, first free throw of the evening and a chance to notch this one at 50. Ooh, what a way to celebrate it, huh? He's just been outstanding. And they extend the floor a different look after each timeout. Melvin Scott, McCants, perfect. Wow. Is that big? That's a little early dagger and maybe a wake-up call for him. Even though he made the one earlier in the half, nice open look, stepped into the jumper. Look at this guy just going to, they get the bump. Oh, Scott. they called the foul. The players thought they got away with it. It was a little bit late. There was a bump, though, Vern. Here's just good handling of the 2-2-1. They post it to middle, kick to the wing, and a little that on by a guy who can play in or out. That is the eighth team foul, two away from the double bonus, and Lowry goes back to the line. One and one. Villanova still has turned it over only seven times. Whoops. North Carolina by three. Melvin Scott, number one. Lowry goes for the steal, doesn't get it. Penetration, nice right setup. Gerard Williams, there's Lowry again. Boy, is he quick to the ball. Six rebounds for Kyle Lowry. Emmanuel's done a much better job on four, not losing him. And that's one of the few times Frazier's got, and he's, he's ambling up the floor, Vern. He yes, hurt he himself is. on that shot. And the knee, the tendonite is very tough on him. Jason Fraser, gimpy as he comes back after that miss. Here's McCants. And Nardi, I think, at the reach, and if they don't give it to Foy on that help, yeah, it was Nardi. And that's his fourth. Take another look at uh, Jason Fraser's last jump shot. You think he, he may have come down awkwardly here as he landed on that right leg and then ambling as he. Ends up I, I, giving him some more touches isn't a bad idea though for some people to guard him, particularly Sean May. Nardi stays on the floor with his fourth. Fraser also stays out there despite that uh, little limp, that little hop when he came across midcourt. McCants shoots another. A lot of whooping going on. Each referee's got a set of guys <laughs> explaining don't leave early, don't bang him. Last time these two played in the NCAAs here in Syracuse 14 years ago. You can see May's strength there as he tries to shove Frazier under the rim in case it's a miss. Back to a five point edge for the Tar Heels of North Carolina as we near the six minute mark. Randy Foy, big night. Defensive presence there. Frazier puts it up, rebound. Sean May. Well, he almost turns it over here. Melvin Scott, Raymond Felton on the bench with four fouls. And they go to May right away. Look at this move. Nice pass. But there was Alan Ray who got a hand in there. 
they don't stop hustling, Vern. Extraordinary rotation to help out, and you know you're playing hard when you run out of the footwear. Maybe that's why he was ambling Frazier. That's his shoe. How about the quick work on the bench? They just heaved, heaved it. <laughs> and a perfect football pass in a basketball game. That, the Vern, that must have just come off. It wasn't off after he came down on his knee. No, no. So it just did, right. and it was conveniently located very close to the Villanova bench. Well, that's one thing I never did was jump out of my shoes. I never got up that high. Villanova, 33% from the field in this half, and look how North Carolina has taken it up a notch. Manual to inbound. Finds Melvin Scott, the senior guard, number one. But well, that was great passing by May, and uh, their interior work is fantastic. Jumper from 15 feet. McCann's offensive board. And a fresh 35. Good things happen when Sean May touches it. McCants. May just took that shot after the whistle, right? And he knew the ref would want the ball. He ran after it. I mean, that's really a nice side of a player. Foul is called on Randy Foy. That's his mm. fourth. Mm. He knew that could become a dilemma. The fatigue, the isolation, and tough shots. And the fouls. McCants with another largest lead of the night now. McCants perfect at the line. He goes after his sixth. On loosening up yesterday, he starts about 10 feet behind the three-point line. Uh, his ability, the fluidity is incredible on his long jumper, McCants. Great stroke. Allen Ray, Villanova. Short on all of them. He's he under duress. It's tough to get that long jumper off. And he's fighting himself in the backcourt, too. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's just frustrated. Two of 13 in this game for the leading scorer for the Wildcats, averaging 16 and a half points, and he has been in a horrible shooting slump in the uh, two games previously played. He was one of 18. He's two of 13 in this one. And Randy Foy just gave me a little slap on the back to hang in there. Marvin Williams, Bremerton, Washington. You Rick. take you take the ferry across. Yes, you do. Way. And I know you. I used to live that, that area. A one-hour ferry ride. His high school team, Roy Williams, when he was at Kansas, first saw Marvin Williams play as a sophomore. And then, of course, when Roy Williams came to North Carolina, all of a sudden, the Tar Heels got into the picture. And a nine-point North Carolina lead, nine unanswered. Kyle Lowry protecting it. Randy Ford. Good kick. Alan Ray still won't fall. Well, he got it over the rim, which is he hadn't been able to do that. This should go inside and then make some decisions. And a foul of frustration. And uh, Jay not happy either. He's called timeout. Gathered the troops. Foul problems at the Lumba. Inefficient offensive late. Good timeout. If, if any of them win it or won it in Guy Lewis's case, does that make him a better coach? You know what I mean? Yes. It, it's like it, everybody overlooks the work, the effort. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a guy that's going to be knocking on the door. You know, maybe not each and every year, but they will be there for quite a while. The recruiting, the lineage continues. Assistant for Dean Smith for 10 years. Bill Guthrie just alongside of him and then took over. And he turned down an opportunity to come back to his alma mater and then accepted it when uh, Matt Doherty was let go two years ago. Here's a basket by Villanova. That ends an 11-0 run. And Foy has 26 points in this one. And May was unable to really go after him for fear of another foul. Nice cross and break. There was Lowry with another oh. steal. 
That's his third steal of the ball game. Foy, Lowry rebound. Taken down really hard. Vern, you won't believe what he did. He went after the big guys before he shot the ball. That rebound, hopefully that's just like a bang on the floor. But what an aggressive guy on the basketball floor. This can't be. They've had so many difficulties with injuries. Okay, it's a great sign. Get your breath and get organized. The toughness of this guy is incredible. Yeah, he really is tenacious. High school coach was Mark Hammerdinger. Jay Wright was telling us yesterday that when he was a high schooler, he played in an all-star game for the same coach. Mm. Because he later had Katina Mobley, or earlier, I should say, so pretty good. Archbishop Doherty. Sean May picked up his fourth. Raymond Felton back on with four fouls, and May stays there with 4-14 to go in the ball game. Two for Kyle Lowry after the hard foul. And here is Marvin Williams. How about that poise, huh? A lot of young guys who are taking it right to the rim. They really jammed up over there, Vern. Lowry. Now they get it back to Felton's hands. Under four to go. 61-54. Villanova jumped out to a 21-9 lead. They were up by four at the half. I think depth has worn them down. Oh, wow. And shooting like that. And look at that smile, too, Vern. Oh. You gotta love it. Oh. He is some load, and as we noted earlier, the campus has really taken him to their bosom. Under three and a half, top-seeded North Carolina, fifth-seeded Villanova. Winner gets Wisconsin on Sunday afternoon. Nice hands, nice help down there, Manuel, along with May. Three minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Villanova, North Carolina. Inbound, Nardi finds Randy Foy. Jumper by Foy. Felton with the rebound. Well, they don't go down, you're in trouble. You know, early in the game, red hot. Knocking them down. Ten point, North Carolina lead. Jackie Manuel, Sean May, McCants, Felton. Marvin Williams on the floor. And right now they're going to try and shorten the game, get it down around ten. They, now they're going to run their offense. High pick and roll. And may go look at this lob. Nice. How about that read? Fraser. Fraser. Yes, Fraser with the tip and the steal. Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Foy. Now here's Kyle Lowry. He's driving oh. against anybody. Oh, Philly tough. He is something else. He is extraordinary. Not afraid, unabashed to go to the rim. Playing street ball with his brothers or pick up games with other Philly guys have made me tough. I'm from Philly. And that's his quote. Lowry with 15 points on his 19th birthday. At the free throw line again. Six of nine from the field. He's also chipped in three steals and six rebounds. But he misses the front end of a one and one. And Raymond Felton brings it up. North Carolina will know. They've had a battle tonight. Uh, Jay Wright did a marvelous job. I know Royal compliment him. And just not the physical equipment to compete up front. Change the defenses. Just extraordinary. And it should be noted. Longtime assistant to Roy at Kansas. And a great help to us in our preparation. Gives us a lot of insight into what they're trying to accomplish. You can't do it alone. You mentioned Freddie Hill on the other side with that staff. Fred Gunny, Eddie Pickney you alluded to. A lot of work goes in. Nardi's three revives Villanova's hopes. Skip pass. May into the hands of Melvin Scott, the senior. Keep the ball moving is what they're trying to do. Good pressure and denial. Rashad McCants. Look at him. He really knows that he had to react. There's Lowry took the flop. Oh, he's just cool. He's a tough kid. He just grabbed Williams' leg as he ran by. Jackie Manuel. Look at this. 
kid is extraordinary. There's Lowry, right side, and a foul is called. Will shoot free throws. And Lowry doesn't get tired. Look at they're hugging him out there. He deserves it. And this has just been a magnificent effort, complementing the preparation, the understanding of how to win this game or try and win the game. Alan Ray, two shots. First attempt at a free throw tonight. 82 and a half percent for the season. Could make it a one possession game. There you go. If you're struggling, and he Jay just pointing it to the head, hang in there, be tough. Guys that get you this far. Gets two free throws, a 7 0 run, and Villanova is back within three. Ball is touched last. And who's in this thing, Lowry? I mean, he almost came with that. Frazier jumped in front, and Lowry just darted underneath. 1 12 to go. North Carolina seemingly in command at 64 54. But seven unanswered by the Wildcats. They need to score, Vern. They've got to attack, I think. There's another Lowry attempt at the steal, but Williams gets it back. Raymond Felton has fouled out. So Melvin Scott, under a minute to go. 64, 61. Down to seven. Five make... on the shot clock. McCants rolls out. Rebound, Villanova. Nordy, two on two. Bounce pass. Foul. Boy at the line. Nardi had great control. He made the guy extend himself on that bounce pass. A great fill. And right now you can see Carolina seeing it slip away a little bit by that facial look on uh, Felton. Rashad McCants, Melvin Scott, Sean May, Marvin Williams, and Jackie Manuel on the floor for North Carolina. Well, and for Villanova, it's going to be Ray Foy, Kyle Lowry, Nardi, and Jason Fraser. So four men, 6'3 or smaller. I, I'm just thinking you don't need the program. You know, they don't list heart in the program. They list inches. And these kids have come with a lot. A big Valentine. I'd watch out for Lowry if this is missed, too. I mean, he's up front there next to Williams. Curtis Sumter, injured knee last week, torn ACL. Short. They're going the other way. Violation uh, ran across. He knew it was short. Now they're going to try and get the Nordy's trying to get their defense set up. 39.2 remaining in a two-point North Carolina lead. Nardi call for the lane violation. Now Jay Wright says uh, we'll do a little pressure here. Sean made an inbound. I don't know what he's asking about. Maybe the clock. Gets a free time out here. Jay Wright that is. As his groups gathered around. 64-62. You, know, you know what I think, Vern? Uh, the, sh the ball hit the rim, was touched and all. Maybe the clock, yeah, they just put a second on it. Back to an even 40 seconds. Everything counts. We've seen a lot of crazy things. An underdog Villanova Wildcat team. He's going to play straight up. Melvin Scott, Sean May. Back to Scott. 30 seconds to go. See, now, I'm thinking, why not do it in the backcourt? And that's Nardi's fifth, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yes. 65%? Yep. And you got to knock these down if you're going to move on. First attempt tonight in a two point game. Smooth. 
early. Got to make them. That's what you're, you know, that's the name of the game coming down the stretch. Decides the winner. Got them both. Now they've got to force Villanova to use a lot of clock. They don't want to foul. And Villanova needs to quick hitter and get themselves set defensively. Look at this. Kyle spin. Lowry spin out to Randy Foy. There's Scott defensively. Foy penetrates, lost control of it, and is fouled as he goes up. Well, Manuel there. And Roy saying, relax. This team puts so much pressure on you, Villanova, with the dribble. You know they can shoot the deep one, Vern, but if you come too close, they've got strength and speed with the bounce. That puts Randy Foy at the line. Four of five tonight. There you go. And they know exactly what they want to do. Get themselves set, try and get a steal on the inbounds, and then just follow through and give it. Oh, and look at the follow, and they come up with it. Will Sheridan with a rebound. 13 seconds to go. Time call, Villanova. Wow, what a good move by Jay Wright. They need the three, and they've got ample people, Vern, to discuss the first, second, and third option. Back screen and a pop. Allen Ray, penetration, and a shot. No. Walk. I know they're upset, but I think it was the right call. Another look. Now the crowd doesn't like this. Let's see. Count the pivot feet. Three. You know. Now you see Williams at 84 percent. Sean May will inbound it to McCants, and he's fouled with 7.6 remaining. Oh, that's a, you know, would you say it's a Syracuse influence crowd, maybe? You know, Rudy, uh, here at the home of the Orangemen. Randy Foy fouls out with 28 points, one shy of his season high tonight. And he got a 71% free throw shooter going to the line in McCants. Wow, did they make it right to the end? And big free throws now for Carolina. Rashad McCants at the line where he's been perfect this evening. He's 8 of 8. Randy Foy, 28 points. Baker Dunleavy is on the floor. Number 22 of the familiar Dunleavy family. Brother Mike, of course, played at Duke. Father Mike wasn't a bad player to father either. <laughs> no, not at all. And of course, the here's McCants. Well, the push now, you got to be prepared. 7.6 to go. Seven point six, Dunleavy will inbound. Finds Fraser. Here's Kyle Lowry. Jumper. Yes! This kid's unbelievable. That's only the fifth three-pointer he's made all year. And look at this scale. Ray. 1.8 to go. Uh, he's going to call the next timeout. Roy, Roy wants the timeout. That's their last. They bring Jason Fraser at 6'10 up to guard the inbound play. Uh, take the vision away. May yeah. heaves it. There smart, it is. Smart, smart. Got to go the other way. You don't want to foul, though, Manuel. Lowry at the buzzer. This one is over. Wow, Jay Wright and your team, magnificent effort, and Roy Williams, a good test for your club.